from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 14th, 2016. I won't be able to be in today's live trade room, so in today's video, I'm going to take a look at each of the U.S. currency pairs in anticipation of today's trading opportunities. First off, let's start with the USD CHF, the U.S. dollar versus the Swiss franc. We've been studying a couple of different trends here for this currency pair. The, the rise along the long blue trend line here, the fall as the market took a little bit of correction and pullback here against that trend, and then the rising trend channel that we've seen over the past couple of weeks between the blue and the black trend line. That's the trend that we're currently focused in on here for the U.S. franc, this rising trend channel. With that, that would be looking for buying opportunities into support or breaks of resistance here for the US franc. So let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit on the daily time frame. You can see where our current support and resistance levels are. And I think what we really need to do is look back to the left. Look left to see what the current market price may anticipate doing. So we look over here, you see the red circle on the far left hand side of the chart, support at the pink zone, resistance at the green shaded area. That's important because that's where we currently are holding. The pink shaded area right around the 1.0010 to 99.95 level. That's surrounding the parity level for the U.S. franc. So as long as it's above that, like over here in the red circle, we're anticipating support. And of course, above that would be resistance into the green zone between 1.0055 and 70. So what we're looking for, if we're looking to trade this trend channel, are buys on dips to support or breaks above the resistance level. Let's take it down to the four hour time frame. So now we can see that in a little bit more detail where those two levels are, the green level and the pink shaded zone. I'm just going to try and draw that pink uh, or green level over a little bit further. Uh, so what, with that anticipation, we're buying on dips to support. That would be this pink shaded area here between 99.95 and 1.0010, looking for the market to make a turn back higher in the direction of our trend pattern. In a very similar fashion, what we see over here with the blue circle, the rise, the break above, the dip back below and then the continued rise. So that's what we're looking at today. It made a rise, didn't really break out above the green zone, challenged it, didn't break it, and now we're back into the green zone. As long as it's above the pink zone today, that becomes a buying opportunity. Only if it breaks underneath it, that's the risk on the trade. If it breaks underneath there, we probably look for it back down to the blue shaded area down here at the very bottom of the chart. Breaking above the pink, the green shaded area, the breaking above the 1.0070 level, begins to move towards the top of our channel, all the way up into the yellow shaded area, into into the 1.100s for the U.S. franc. So for the day today, again, resistance at the green zone, support at the pink zone. If you're buying in the direction of our trend channel, you're buying on dips to support. Your first opportunity here is into the pink shaded area for the U.S. franc. Moving on over to the euro dollar, uh, similar situation, but we've seen a significant rise here for this currency pair. We zoom it out on the daily, you see the fall, the rise, and then the falling channel. Most importantly, it's going to be where this black box is down at the bottom right-hand side of the chart. Zoom it back in. There's that black box. Let's go ahead and zoom it in twice. Take a look at what the market's been doing for the past one, two, three, four, five, six days, finding resistance at the orange zone, support at the green shaded area. As I've been mentioning in the live trade room, just about every day this week, this is going to be a significant player as resistance, the orange shaded area, significant player as resistance for this currency pair. As long as it stays underneath, the orange shaded area and the 100 period exponential moving average that we have here on the chart we're looking for resistance a breakout above here probably starts to look for a breakout of the pattern and a continuation up to the blue shaded area if we're going to see a continuation of the pattern then it's likely this becomes our resist resistance level to trade from today and we look for it to head back down to the green zone at any point like i talked about in yesterday's analysis under the green zone we're looking for the return of the downtrend four hour time frame doesn't really change that much at all but we could see that same orange shaded area the market pattern or the price patterns that happened back here on the last time we challenged this orange shaded area we are still in a lower high scenario right now so if anything today i expect we're looking for opportunities to go short and sell the euro dollar here into the orange shaded area your risk is above the orange zone and a breakout here likely looks for the beginnings of another turn higher for the euro dollar Moving over to the GBP USD. Today, of course, we had some significant news out of the UK with interest rate news and 
policy statement and you can see not a, a tremendous reaction yet so far today we do see it starting to move an inch a little bit higher but that's not too surprising if we go out here to the weekly time frame we know we're at multi-year lows here for the currency pair and we've been talking about that in the live trade room just about every day this week the multi-year lows down here into the blue shaded area at the very bottom of the chart and I've been saying that I'm very discouraged about going short into those multi-year lows and as you can see it's continued to find support down here into that blue shaded area if you've been trading this currency pair as a short and you've been selling it hopefully you're protecting the trade from going negative again uh, you can see it coming back up targeting the 44 60 to 4500 level that's the orange shaded area anything above that will likely look for this to continue to pressure higher only if it really breaks underneath that blue shaded area open and close underneath there 4350 or so we'll call it uh, will likely look for the continuation of the downtrend if you're looking to go short in the trend the orange shaded area becomes your first opportunity 4460 to 4500 becomes your first opportunity to do that today going short at the orange zone if you're looking for a little bit higher maybe the green shaded area up into the mid to upper 4500s but currently i have no plans to trade the pound dollar as a short as we're so close to those multi-year lows here for this currency pair Next, moving over to the USDCAD, of course, this currency pair is an uptrend. Yesterday, there was a suggestion I made to buy this currency pair on the breakout above the yellow shaded area where the two horizontal red line, trend lines are up into the 4200, 4240 level. The opportunity was to buy around 4220. Let's go ahead and zoom it on down to the four hour time frame. As you can see from the 4220 area and that yellow zone the market has significant right rise here for this currency pair uh, let's just measure it from 42.20 to the current market price is about 140 pips so uh, if you stuck with that trade you're sitting 140 130 pips of profit right now you should be protecting uh, that profit of course now here we are again the pattern of the trend continues doesn't it where we see congestion breakout congestion breakout congestion breakout all along the pattern of the trend so the same thing goes for the day today if it breaks out we'll begin looking for the next rise for the CAD there's no real reason to believe that that trend pattern has changed only really if it starts to open and close underneath one of these support levels do we begin to look for it to have a little bit of reversal for the, so for the day today if you're holding trades from yesterday protect profit if you're not looking for the breakout of the purple zone will be your next move for the US CAD next moving over to the USD JPY this currency pair of course clearly has been in a downtrend because of risk aversion and safe haven currency pairs you can see it continuing to pressure down but it's come to a screeching halt down here at the very bottom and something interesting we've been looking at in the trade room are these double black lines down here take a look this is a multi-year look at this currency pair look at the double black lines and the rise of the lows along those double black lines you can see support here support here and in the current time frame we're in support so take a look at that interesting for the US yen take it on back down to the daily there's those double black lines at the very bottom and that's where we're currently finding support and the last time we found support down into that area on the left hand side of the chart so just something interesting to look at zoom it in you can see one two three four five six days now finding support at the purple shaded area I would be very discouraged about going short here because there's significant support into that purple shaded area no real reason to believe that that has broken only an open and close underneath that purple shaded area do I expect it to go back down now yesterday we challenged back here into the green zone of course that was resistance if you took a short there of course that would have been the best place to take a short into resistance in the green shaded area you're now into profit you should be protecting profit looking for the next move lower on the opposite side if we're ever going to see reversal for this pair is likely going to have to change the trend pattern higher lows and higher highs I think of course right now the purple shaded area is a significant area that c comes into play when we're looking for potential reversal four hour time frame again look at that support there into that purple shaded area do not go short as long as it's on top of there because that is significant resist uh, support for the US yen only if it breaks underneath that purple zone do you decide to go short here for this pair or again a rally back to the green shaded area if at any point over the next several days it gets back above the green zone that begins our real clue to reversal for the US yen next moving on over to the AUD USD the Australian versus the US dollar 
We have been selling this currency pair all week long, making money on any shorting opportunities from the uh, pink shaded area that you see here on the chart. And now today, we see a new low. So let's talk about yesterday's sales. We took a short yesterday into the pink shaded area, into the 70, 20, 15 level, into the pink shaded area. Significant profit here, once again here for this currency pair from the 70, we'll just take it from 70, 15. We're now seeing about 100 pips of profit on those trades. So if you sold it into the pink shaded area based on the uh, uh, suggestion from yesterday protect profit your next opportunity though is the breakdown of this orange uh, yellow shaded area if it can get underneath 69 10 6900 that's when we look for the next leg of the downtrend to take shape it's not there yet so if you're not in the short don't go short now because it's just challenging support you need a breakout underneath the yellow zone or at least a challenge back to the pink shaded area it is in, uh, interesting of the support that we're at right now uh, if it continues to stay above 6,900, we might see a little bit of a bounce back, even towards 7,000 in the pink shaded area yet. We don't see any clue to that. We don't see any evidence of reversal. Just something to watch here. If it finds support here above 69, maybe a bounce back to the pink shaded area. Let's zoom it out to the weekly real quick. Take a look. That yellow shaded area at the bottom, again, is a multi-year low here for this currency pair. The gold shaded area, whatever, uh, down there around 6,900, multi-year low. We need a breakout there. And this really isn't anything surprising. If you've been following the trade room for any amount of time, you know we've been studying this triangle pattern, the breakout, and the continuation of the downtrend is exactly what we've been expecting for the last several weeks. Continuing to pressure down, we have multiple opportunities, 6860 as your first area of support. Then we're back down into the 6700s where these double blue lines are. We'll take a look at that the next time we're in the trade room, what maybe our next support targets will be for the Australian dollar. Four hour time frame, again, doesn't really change it. We just know that we've been selling multiple opportunities to sell this currency bear into that pink shaded area and multiple opportunities for profit over the past few days for the Australian dollar. Similar situation over here on the NZD USD, New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. We've been focusing our efforts on selling and going short here for this currency pair, and it has paid off quite nicely. The main focus really over the past few days has been, I'm going to zoom it in one more time, selling the green shaded area. And there's been multiple opportunities to sell or go short at the green shaded area between 6570 uh, 65, and 6590. If you are still holding those shorts from earlier on the week that I suggested multiple opportunities to sell there, if you are still holding those shorts from the green shaded area, you're obviously 140, 150 pips of profit. You should be protecting profit as it continues to pressure lower. Take a look. It just broke right through the blue zone. If you're looking for a new opportunity today here for the New Zealand, I don't think you want to go short. That doesn't mean uh, that doesn't make sense into the multi-year or multi-month low there. But what you should be looking for is a rebound back towards the blue shaded area retracement back to towards the 45 85 45 15 level becomes your opportunity to go short once again for the new zealand dollar next opportunity would be the breakdown of the purple zone so if you're looking to go short in the direction of the trend of momentum look for those opportunities either back to the blue zone as resistance or underneath the purple shaded area as the breakout of the support zone that you see back here on the far left hand side. Zoom it out one more time. Again, continuing to pressure lower. Let's go ahead and bring one of these uh, levels over here from the left hand side of the chart. This green zone down here, 6340, 6320, becomes your next potential support on the way back down. Back to the four hour time frame. Again, there's multiple opportunities we have taken to take shorts into the green shaded area. It hesitated for a little bit here, but not long. And now we're seeing it back down into the purple zone. That purple zone is support for the day today. So if you're looking to sh go short again, back to the blue zone, just like you did here at the green zone, back to the blue zone becomes your opportunity or the breakout underneath the purple zone for the New Zealand dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.